Lines. Mike Springer for us right now is live uh, at, I understand, Mike, the Daytona Beach Pier. You were previously at a spot that had some flooding. What's that like where you are now? Yeah, we're just a little ways away from the pier right now, but the wind is starting to pick up here on the coast. And I want to give you kind of a live look at what the water uh, looks like right here now. This is a live look at the Atlantic Ocean. You can see uh, the waves are really starting to pick up right now. We're not at high tide yet, as has been mentioned before, uh, but you can see we have some rough surf right now. We have those strong rip currents. That's why Volusia County Beach Safety is flying those double red flags. They want people to stay out of the water here because we have that rough surf, dangerous rip currents uh, conditions going on right now. And I want to take your attention kind of over here to these dunes. Now, this is going to be an area of focus for a lot of people along the shore. Uh, should we see those storm surges, that wind and that erosion, they are worried about these dunes, which have had a lot of damage before in prior storms. And these are critical in protecting our coastline here. But despite some of the concerns that we may see later tonight as we get as uh, Hurricane Dor Dorian moves closer to our shore, you know, a lot of people have been out here all day going to the beach, taking pictures, taking video of the surf and the currents here, uh, just trying to get a glimpse at kind of what may be coming with this uh, hurricane uh, making its way up towards our coast here. Uh, but for now, it Conditions not too bad at this point. No rain, just a little bit of wind and a little bit of a rough sea here at the moment. We'll keep you posted as conditions change throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.